Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923. And now that we have ESXi up and running, let's actually create a VM inside of it because that's the whole reason we installed this thing. Um, so first we have to actually upload some ISO files or just an ISO file. Um, because right now, if we were to create a virtual machine, it wouldn't have an operating system to use. So we just need to upload that operating system. So go ahead and download an ISO file of whatever you want, like Ubuntu or um, Alpine, whatever you want to use, Windows. Um, and then head over to the storage tab here, or the storage button. And you'll notice this is basically where we installed ESXi, and this is all the available capacity we have. So we just need to click on it and go to data store browser and actually upload that ISO file so it's accessible to the VM. So just um, click on whatever ISO file you want to use. So I have Ubuntu 20 right here and I'm just going to upload that and you can watch the progress of it right here. Um, shouldn't take too long. And once this finishes, we'll go ahead and um, create the VM. All right, so it just finished uploading and you can see it here. So now when we go to create a VM, we can launch with this ISO. So let's go back to the main host page here and click on create register VM and create a new virtual machine. And this is basically just asking for a name. So let's call it Franz C H Y Z E franchise 923 Ubuntu one and now it's just asking for some information about what you're trying to install so we're going to install linux and what flavor of linux ubuntu linux 64-bit uh, so just update this to whatever you're installing and this is asking where you want to install it so this is our only storage drive so pick that and now it's just asking for the hardware specs so i'm just going to leave all this default since i'm just messing around with it and now here on the CD DVD drive, this is where you're gonna have to uh, point it to an ISO file. Because if you don't give it the ISO file, it's just gonna boot up and not know what to do because there's no media to install. So just pick whatever ISO you have and select it. And now click next and just review and then hit finish. And you'll notice here that we have this virtual machines tab now and here's our virtual machine and it's actually not running right now so we need to click it and then hit power on so once this boots up we should be able to see uh, the console a little preview here and if we hit console um, here's what it looks like inside the virtual machine and just hit enter to install Ubuntu and I'm sure you guys know how to do this but uh, just for good measure I'll, I'll just get it totally up and running and I want to connect to it in PuTTY as well, just so I can stop using this um, this weird uh, browser um, console. So this is fine. It, it's uh, slowly booting up from the ISO file. So we'll just be patient and let this start up. All right, so it's booting up, and now we're presented with the installer. So just pick your language and update to the new installer. And I'm just going to run through this installer. All right, so it's asking for the keyboard layout. That's fine. That's fine. Use the entire disk is fine. That's fine. All right. All right, and I'm gonna install OpenSSH. So just click space to select it and then click done. And I don't need any of this stuff. So just hit done and there we go. So now it's installing. This might take like five, five, 10 minutes. All right, so the install finished. So let's just reboot it. Reboot now. So now it's booting back up and I'm just going to grab, once this boots up, I'll log in and grab the IP address and then we can connect with PuTTY. All right. So it's booted back up. So let's just put in our 
uh, username and password. All right, clear the screen, and now I'll use if config to just grab the IP address, and there it is, 192.168.0.200. So let's just connect with Putty so I don't have to deal with this weird um, browser console. So <clears throat> username at IP address. All right, and just hit yes, <clears throat> and then type in the password. And there we go. Now we're logged in with Putty, so we don't have to use this anymore. Um, so yeah, hope that was helpful. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.